Hello Upper School. Today is the 2nd of February and for Mental Maths today we are going to be learning to divide numbers by 100. Why will we do that? I hear you ask. Well, it's going to be very, very important when it comes to converting your lengths, especially between centimetres and metres. As you can see there, 100 centimetres is equal to 1 metre. Therefore, if I want to convert centimetres into metres, I've got to divide by 100. Tells us over here. That means that the inverse operation of that is learning how to multiply by 100. We'll get to that next week. So, dividing by 100. Back to the questions. I am going to give you a little example of how I choose a two-digit number, a three-digit number, a four-digit number, and a decimal, just to show you the range of numbers you can choose from. Okay? So, I'll choose number 327. All right, so if I go on to MathSpot, which was the funky website I told you about before, and I'll take over a 10, 20, and then we'll do seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 27. I'm going to be dividing 27 by 100. Now, you know, when we're dividing something, it gets smaller, our answer. Therefore, 27 divided by 100 will be an answer less than 27. And to move from 10s to 1s, you know that you're dividing by 10. So to, to divide by 100, it basically means to divide by 10 and then to divide by 10 again. So watch this. If I divide 10 by 10, I get 1. And if I divide 1 by 10, I get 0 0.1. That shows me that I need to move two place value rows to the right. So I'm just going to go back. I'll have to do it individually, do I? Interesting. Ah. Right. Back to the very beginning. 10, 20, and then I'll do my 1s, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 27. So I'm going to have to move, and I'll just go to my markup for this. If I put 27, doo -doo -doo, wrong way, Miss Cohn. If I put 27 into the table by using markup, then I'll have to move it two rows over. So let's go. 27 okay two rows right of 27 if I go to the ones column that's dividing it by 10 I need to go to the tenths column and that divides it by a hundred so I'll put my two there and my seven here that means my two that was originally in my tens column has moved two columns over to the tenths column and my 7, which was originally in the units column, has moved two place value columns over to the hundredths. Now remember, my decimal point always is here. Okay, so it was 27.0 and now it is 0 0.27 or 0.27. Cool, that's good to know. I'm just going to rub that out and let's try another one. Okay, I'm going to try the number 110, okay, 110, I'm just going to go straight for it and write it, okay, so let's write 110, it's got 100, it's got 110, and it's got zero units, I'll put my decimal point in there, just so you can see it, okay, Ooh, doesn't really look that great, but you know what I mean, okay, cool, so 110, Let's divide that number by 100. So if I divide it by 100, I'm going to move each figure over by two columns. Divide it by 10, divide it by 10 again. So the one will go from the 100s column all the way over to the ones. The one from the tens column will move to the tenths column. 
and the zero units column will move to the hundredths column. Here is my new answer, 1.10. Pretty easy. Okay, let's try another one. So I'll rub that out. Let's try 6,600. 6,600. I'll put my decimal points in just to be clear. They don't ever change. They go between the ones and the, the tenths. So I'll put them in. There's a wee point. There's a wee point. Okay. 6,600. Well, the 6,000s will move two columns to the right. Divide it by 10 takes us to the hundreds column. Divide it by 10 again takes us to the tens column. Put my 6 there. The 600s need to be divided by 100 as well. So divide them by 10, take them to the tens column. Divide them by 10 again, take them to the ones column. Here they are. The zero tens needs to be made, moved two place value columns to the right. So move it to the ones column, move it to the tenths column. And the ones need to be moved two places. So move it to the tenths column, move it to the hundredths column. Here we go. My new answer, 66.00, or in other words, 66. Cool. Now right, let's try a decimal to begin with then. Okay, doesn't really get too tricky, so don't worry about it. So let's try 3 point, oh no, 88.7. I'll try that. So i put that in there. 8 tens, 88 and I'll put my decimal place in a little bit thicker, like this, 88.7. Okay, so let's start to divide it by 100. All right, oops, I forgot to put my decimal place value point in there. Okay, so 8 tens divided by 100. Let's move it two columns to the right. So that goes here. Okay, then my 8 ones, two columns to the right takes me to eight hundredths and my seven tenths will go two columns to the right actually we don't even have that column but we can add it just here that's your thousandths column therefore my answer will be 0.887 in other words 0 0.887 i don't mind how you record the answer as long as it shows you that decimal point okay so it's pretty straightforward. It's just all about moving your, your figures or your values to columns to the right so that you're dividing by 100. So one column to the right is to divide by 10. Two columns to the right is to divide by 100. Good luck. I'm just wondering if there's anything I've missed out on this video. Let me just go back to my photos. I'll just press done on that one done. I don't think I'm missing too much out. The only thing that I think is important to note is, does it make a difference whether or not you select a decimal number or a um, two digit or a three digit or a four digit number? Do you think it's harder when you use a decimal number? What about if you could use 7000 and just take away two zeros? Does that work? Does it work for 11.2 if you do it that way? Hmm, it'd be interesting to find out if that works, if you try it that way. I've heard lots of teachers say that before, but I don't actually think it's very true. But you're going to have to double check it to see if they're right. Okay, so good luck and hopefully this video loads for you today as opposed to yesterday. See you later, guys.